For critical priority, font will be bold and background will be red. The table is problem. So let's understand today's requirement. So today's requirement is somebody asking that whenever your priority of this problem ticket will be critical, um, then in that case, the, the font will be bold and then background color will be the red. Okay. So let's implement this requirement. So if I open this um, service now instance, and if I open this problem record at that moment, And there is a many uh, problem ticket right now. Now let's say that um, I will open the priority equal to critical. So priority is critical. Now if I open any of this priority which is a critical priority that uh, background color should be red and then uh, this priority font will be this priority font will be bold. So let's implement this one. To implement this one, I am using that onload client script. So object I am using that called client script onload. And then method I am using called uh, g underscore form method. So in the g underscore form, we have a various method. I will use the get control method. So let's do that. First, I'll go back here and then write a client script. Here, I'll create a new one. Then here, I should put the table name. So I'll put the table name equal to problem. And then here, I'll say that set back color. Type will be on load. And then this will be all. Now here, first thing first, we need to check that priority of this problem. So first, we'll check the g underscore form using the g underscore form dot get value. We can specifically get any particular field value, right? So we will check that priority, right? So this backend name is the priority. We'll check that priority. And if priority equal to equal to one, then we'll make this background color equal to uh, bold and then red color right first we'll check that it is going to this block or not so i'll put alert and say that hi and save that so we'll first check that this um, block is getting executed and going to that block only or not and you can see i'm getting a high message it means that it is going to that uh, sections now, how do we make this background color equal to red? And then how do we mark this font equal to bold? That will do that. First, we'll do that. We'll say that where we'll declare a object called where object. And then we'll use that g underscore form dot get control method. And in bracket, we'll pass the field name our case the field name is the priority so using the gate control will return our system will return us a html object so if we put a alert in this object you will see it will it will show as a html component let's save that and if we refresh right now you can see it is giving me that object html uh, select statement. It means that this is kind of, um, you know, that client script have a capability to get or select particular object like we do that for document.get element ID, similar kind of thing we can do right now. Now to set the background color, we'll say that object, this is the object name, then we'll do the style, then we can use that background color. So we'll say that background color and any color we want so let's say that i'll put the red one and let's save that i'll do a format and save that and if we refresh right now you can see this background color become the red one now, how do we mark this is a bold? 
to mark this bold we can again say that obj dot style dot font font weight and here we can say that bold so if we do that any kind of styling css styling if we want we can directly use that so once it is done let's refresh that and you can see right now it is in bold and red color now if i open any incident which is not in a critical state let's say I hi and run that and if I open in a different tab, this should not have any red color. So you can see this is not a red color, but this one is a red color. So this way you can highlight or change any kind of style for any particular field for um, depending on your use case. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.